But, um, and then on a different note, so I talked about last week, I've gotten farther in Watch Dogs Legion to the point where I finish one of the storylines because the game, once you hit what I believe is the halfway point, you get thrown into four different storylines that you have to complete. Uh, you have Albion, which is the mercenary groups taking over in London. You have Clan, Clan Kelly, which is a game you have to deal with. You have um, Zero Day, which is the main villain of the game. And you have a hacker group called 404. So when you go through the 404 storyline, they, they're a dark web hacker group. So yeah, the game goes into that line. Um, you get a... I'm just going to talk about this one mission because I can't get over how this one mission has stuck with me literally for like days. Um, spoilers for Watch Dogs Legion if people care. Um, do, do you guys care? Go ahead. Okay. I'm fine. Um, so there is a, when you do the 404 storyline, you find out that the hacker of of 404 is like, hey, I have this contract on someone. You end up finding out that, that the contract is for this extremely smart computer tech woman. Like, she made the AI that you're using, Bagley. She's working on this top secret project, and the leader of 404 wants you to stop it. And your character's like, okay, what's so bad uh, about this? You hack into a building, you later find out that she's working on a project, that will transfer human neurological data, so basically your brain into an a- AI, into a kim- into a computer, basically allowing people to be Im- Im- immortal and yeah. stuff. You find out that she's doing this because her mother died of a neurological disease, and she wants to cure it, which is totally fine, perfectly valid reason. And when your character finds out, they're like, why do you want to stop this? This is actually pretty smart. And the character that you're working for says, go to her mansion, go into her house, you'll see why she's crazy. So you end up hacking into her mansion, going into her house, and her house AI starts to talk to you as if you're her. So your character's like following what the house says. You're like, oh, how do I get into the base basement? I forget. So the AI takes you into the basement of this person's house and you find out that it's super technologically advanced. They basically built this like cottage in their base basement and the, and the AI starts to act weird. And the whole time that you're in the house, you're using tech to see past events that have happened with this person and their mother. And you find out that the person basically took their mother out of the old, old folks home and is like, no, I'll be able to fix you here you don't have to be there any anymore. And you're like, okay, well, this person's a tech person. Maybe she found a way to help. And through this whole mission, there's no music. It's deathly silent. The only sounds are like ambient n- noises. So it's instantly creepy. Like you walk into her house, it's stark white. The like AI is like weirdly talking to you. It's super creepy. So stuff, stuff happens. You find out that her m- mother dies. You find out that she killed her using like serum in 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 injections and stuff and you're like okay this is really weird well you later find out that she killed her mother to test her ai's functioning and she literally puts her mother's brain into a computer and in this this probably won't change it just a quick question hmm. this this probably won't change the morality of this uh was the mother already dying yes but okay. the but the tech I call her a tech wizard because I can't give her the name for it. Hmm. She gave her mother no choice. Okay. Like her mother did not want this. Her mother just wanted to die. And so when you find out about this happening, you find four chronostasis tubes that have just normal random people's bodies in them. And there's binary in their files. You can translate the binary. And you find out that they were all random test subjects taken off of the street, promised really good jobs, <laughs> only to be tested and their brains thrown into an AI and fucked up. Holy it shit. is incredibly creepy. And it, it, it gets worse. So you find out, like, oh, the AI is the mom. And you're like, can you help us find this chick? And AI says, I will help you if you kill me first. And it is incredibly creepy. And the mother starts to get her, like, humanity back in the AI, and she's literally saying, kill me. And it's done in such a creepy fucking way. So, fast forward, you kill the AI, you find out where the chick is, you hack into the Bloom building. For those who know Watch Dogs, they've been, like, the main villain throughout the Watch Dogs franchise. It's always led back to Bloom. 
You find her in the basement of, of the Bloom building, only to find out that she's dying of the same neurological disease that her mother was, and she's trying to put herself into Bloom's main AI system to take over Bloom. So your character goes through weird hacking pipe style mini games to like shut off the portions of her brain the whole time as she's like talking and being like, who's there? Who's trying to shut me down? And the, and the mission ends with you getting the choice to kill her or to leave her alive and let her put her consciousness into Bloom. And this is a choice. You can choose. So personally, I chose to kill her because she's fucking nuts. <laughs> this is a hell of a fucking tonal shift from like the rest of like, oh, we're wacky hackers. Let's go to do all this cool so, fun stuff in pig costumes and whatever. So, I don't know about what happens if you don't kill her. I killed her and I went back to my base to start another side quest. And I talk to one of the people in my base and your character starts to feel regret for killing her. She goes, we're dead sec. We don't kill people. And the person in my base was like, yo, she was fucking wacky. Used like London slurs and stuff. Like, Mm -hmm. dude, she was fucking nuts. She was killing like normal people. We did the right thing. But when you're picking what to do with her, she's like begging you not to kill, kill her. She's like, I don't, I don't want to die. I'm doing this to save myself. Then you realize she's trying to literally put herself into Bloom's main AI system and you're like "Mm -hmm." but the way that this quest is handled and like jose said the way it comes out of literal nowhere and the fucking 360 tonal flip from watchdogs going like oh this is how cool tech can be in the future to oh my god this is like a horror story of why we shouldn't evolve tech (laughs) is literally done in such a creepy fucking way that if that's that but if like, if that's the future that Watch Dogs wants to go down and turn it into this, like, weird pseudo-horror game to where, like, tech's gotten too far and, and yeah. dead sex trying to stop it from getting too, too far, I am 100% here. Like, it's the creepiest, most well-done horror mission in a non-horror game that I've done in a super long time, and it's going to stick with me for a hella long time. Hmm. Like, it's, it was just handled... So it literally came out of nowhere. Like it was like it was like causing me like to feel super un- uncomfortable. Like the whole final like in in the house when you find the bodies. Like it was legitimately super uncomfortable. Do you feel like it would have been just as effective if it was, if it was in a proper horror game? Like what was was it that contrast that added to it? I think it was the contrast that added to it because you know I wouldn't exactly call Watch Dogs Legion wonky. It's I was talking to Splane about this the other day. Mm-hmm. I compare it to how Quentin Tarant- Tarantino films dry humor to where there's an obvious message behind Watch Dogs, which is fuck the fascist. And, yeah. But they add such totally dry humor in it using the a- AI, using like some of the like funny takedowns you can do. Like They add such dry humor to it. So going from that to what this mission was just i think made it so much more creepy because i never expected a game like watchdogs to do that and handle it as well as they did mm-hmm. so i think that was honestly what made it so creepy and i i fucking want m- more of that type of thing i haven't started any of the other side missions so i don't know but just i want them to do that like i said if they turn that concept into the like watchdogs 4 or like whatever it, it, it is i am 100 percent here f- for it and I think them continuing to use Bloom for all this stuff is maybe leading me to believe that that might be what, what they're going for. Because if they're going to bring Bloom back or... or Because I know there's there's a DLC mission that involves Aiden Pierce and Wrench, <sighs> from, and Wrench from Watch Dogs 2. And they've said that that DLC mission is going to have its own storyline to it. Mm. And from what I remember... Aiden, even when he was in Watch Dogs 2, because he appears in Watch Dogs 2 for like half a second, yeah. he's always been because it was something Bloom was doing. So a part of me believes that that's what they're going for, is that they're evolving Bloom to be this this like high-intense like, evil like, tech corp mm-hmm. that's like super like trying to like exceed human evolution. Evo- Transhumanism. Yeah. And plus, since one of the DLC characters is a trans human like uh how do i describe it like one of the dlc characters she can hack using her mind mm. like she can mind hack people and she's huh. and she's like 
a transhumanism experiment. Like, that's literally all that character is. So if that's what they're going for in, like, the next Watch Dogs, to make that, like, a horror element, kind of, be like, oh, this this was Bloom unregulated. Like, they're making, like, humans mixed with tech. I am all here f- for it. And I'm all for, like, Dead Sec being, like, we can't have that. Because that's just going to fuck up man mankind. I'm here. I'm 100% here. And what that mission did was it really elevated Watch Dogs' legion to me. Mm. And definitely that's made good. me more excited to continue it. That's good. That, that yeah. sounds pretty exciting. 